you've been writing checks your mouth can't cash. You've been talking and walking a lot of shit back. You've been looking to validate all of your mistakes. But this is one step beyond what I can take. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's all the same to me. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's all the same to me. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. Hello and welcome to OMGW. OMGW tonight. I am not alone. My name is Ziggy Vans. Welcome to another super exciting episode of wrestling. Blaze Phillips here and we are coming off of a big show last week, The Mill. We are firmly on the road to immortality, the second at this point. Now tonight will be the ladder match. And this ladder match has eight wrestlers in it. The person who pulls down the title will get to pick a shot at a division that they want. Of course, second only to whoever uh, Kaiser decides to go after. That is right, Ziggy. And his choice has not been made yet. It is still up in the air as who the Giant chooses to face off against. Yeah, yeah. I got to say, though... um, I have some suspicions as to who they're going to pick. Yeah, I think he's going for that dual team division, that's for sure. I think we're going to have a very interesting dual team main event, if you ask me. Uh, And we're probably going to hear from them tonight, but just so you guys know, between this show and the next show, every match for Immortality will be set in stone and made and written. Hope McKenna is entering the ring to open us off here tonight, folks. That is right, he is. I'm sorry I opened that and it was so goddamn loud. (laughs) (laughs) And again, any one of these eight people who bring down the case will get a shot at a title of their choosing. Um, And also, another history making match tonight, Champions of Champions 2. Four champions enter, one champion leaves. That champion becomes the champion of champions. Whoever loses... Gets their titles vacated. That is right, Ziggy. In there, so you have the dual team division titles on the line with Doc Holliday and Filthy Phil, as well as SGB and Marauder. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to go against Marauder in a multi-person match. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so now Logan, the VP, is another member who's going to be in this match, buying for the briefcase and the chance at a title shot at Immortality. And just a little recap as well. 3J won the right to challenge the Ultra Division title, so we're going to have a rematch of that title sh- title match between Nikki Harcourt and Triple J. And what a rematch that will be, Ziggy. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be big. It's going to be brutal. Th- those two have no love lost between each other, and it seems like every time they're around each other, uh, it gets worse. Yeah, that is a fact. I'm going to take a little moment here to announce something I've just been handed from the desk since these people are entering. Uh, There are going to be two other special matches happening at Immortality the Second. They are going to be called the ODI, the OMGW Draft Invitational. What that will be is a triple threat, two triple threats. One, three ladies you've never seen before, and the other three fellas you've never seen before. Uh, Each one. Uh, will decide whether or not they get contracts. Uh, but in addition to that, Blaze, they will get entry to respective matches that might get them title shots if they win. That is right, Ziggy. The stacked uh, roster that we have here at OMGW is doing nothing but growing. Yes, yes, it is. And we are only taking quality wrestling candidates who are all about their in-ring work and performance. That is right. No one is allowed free entrance to such a high-quality right. wrestling promotion. No, no. Uh, no, we have a we have an interesting pay scale. We have an interesting way of doing things here. It is a union of wrestlers uh, decided by wrestlers. You know what I mean? It's, it's for the people, by the people, with the people, uh, walking in the park with the people, whatever. You know, that kind of stuff. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Iceman is down. going to uh, step into the ring to try his hand at this ladder match. Yeah. He's feeling naked lately these days without a belt, and he is looking to get his shot as he did not pull it off in the middle. I mean, he hasn't had a terrible year, but if you compare his year this year to last year, um, it's not even a it's 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 not even a question. Iceman held the title, the OMGW title, the entirety of the first season, with the exception of the last match yeah. of the of the entire season. He went undefeated until that last match. He won the Champion of Champions match last year. Had a great showing at the Mill. Fast forward to this season. I mean, he's had some wins and losses. Uh, he's lost to some people. He definitely hasn't claimed a belt. Um, and, yeah, I think he's looking to get back on top. Get back in that OMGW picture. Where our audience is actually made up of people with a special kind of depressing disease. <laughs> where they kind of, like, depress every so often, if you're seeing that uh, in the footage. And these two brothers have been making their name known at OMGW as we have Hogan Bruce entering the ladder match tonight. Yeah, uh, of, he is of the brothers Bruce, and you know they're here for one thing and one thing only, and that is the dual team titles. So you know that's what he's going to be looking for, which makes it interesting considering the fact that if our suspicions are correct, the High Bloods are probably going to use that Kaiser shot um, we might even be looking at a triple threat main event if one of these uh, dual team people win. Yeah, it is, a, it is definitely very possible. That was too much silence, and I'd like to apologize for that. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes we do this a lot, and it just, uh, we run out of things to say. Yeah, now we have Hard Rock entering. He is coming off of a, oh, he almost pulled it off yeah. at the middle of this year. Uh, Kaiser was able to get the better of him, but he made it to the final two. And we have yet to find out who that mystery man that attacked Hard Rock a couple weeks back in the locker room slash office slash hallway was. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, slash mentioned it, slash talked about it. Uh, but Hard Rock is, in fact, uh, he's having a pretty good year, honestly. He hasn't gotten a belt yet, but he's been in a title match, probably the best match we've had so far this year. Uh, he had a great showing at the mill. Uh, he beat the Iceman, handed him his first solo, solo loss. Um, so a win here would get him a title shot, but it's all been overshadowed now by this crazy scarred dude coming out of nowhere and having a brawl with him through the backstage. We still don't know who that is. I, however, have started to do some research into that person and possibly their name. I have found out that it is somebody from his past, an indie wrestler. I don't want to say any names yet just because, you know, I don't want to until it's confirmed, no, you know, just mention it. However... I know that he broke in here. He is not under contract currently. It's amazing to me that he got past our uh, our, our security. We're going to have to have a talk with them. But look at this. Nick Legacy entering the ladder match, yeah. giving uh, Power Cord, in my opinion, an advantage in this match as obviously they will probably be looking into cashing in on the dual team division. I mean, they could choose whatever they want, yeah, but yeah. that would be my assumption. So if either one of these brothers win, it is very possible that we see them in uh, in, in the running in some for kind the of, belt. Yeah, some kind of triple threat potential scenario. I will, I will say, of all the teams out there, uh, you know, these two, Legacy and Hard Rock, actually fought each other in the finale of last year. So I think they know the score. I think they're going to be trying to win that on their own. Yeah, that is true. Is but Ziggy, still, but yeah, either one of them win, that's a huge advantage if they do decide to work together. They do seem to be more on the same page this year, that's but true. only time can tell.
And I think that's it. I, I don't think there's anybody else to enter. I think we're going to get down to this eight-man ladder match and see how this thing plays out and who's going to walk away with that, uh, that, uh, that uh, suitcase. Or is there another? Is there another person? I'm, I'm receiving I word. Count. There is no other person. No, there is another person. I'm <laughs> OGK is also. We were at seven. I thought we were at eight. We were actually at seven. So OGK also is in the running for this. OGK's had an interesting year. He was out for the first half of the year. Obviously, that uh, compound fracture in his arm that he wears the brace for uh, kept him from returning until out of nowhere he returned. And he, very strangely, very strange in Marauder's corner, but not much has been seen of that relationship since. You know, there is a lot of mysteries foreshadowing this year. Uh, I want to point that out. You've got uh, OGK and Marauder's strange relationship that is yet, uh, yet undetermined or explained. You have this strange person attacking Hard Rock. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things going on that I don't think we have all the information for yet. So we're going to get underway tonight, I think so. Ziggy. I we think that was the last head into the wrestler. ladder match, and we are going to see who gets their choice of. Uh, title shot yeah yeah we're gonna see this is nope we nope. got one more person to enter we can't count very well i thought you were the numbers guy ziggy i'm a little disappointed justin stevenson said stepping into the ring and he he one half i am the numbers ring. guy i only do numbers as in roman numerals though like just oh, roman oh, numbers. i see the problem we yeah eyes yeah. x's all yeah. that stuff yeah. gets in the way when you're talking counting on fingers and toes right um but yeah justin stevenson stepping in and I don't think there's any doubt that if he were to win this yeah. match, he is definitely going to be going after the dual team division title with his partner, part of the perfect team, Kurt Sampson. Well, and Justin Stevenson and Kurt Sampson, the perfect team, have been a dominant team since the foundation of this league. They won the titles in, in, in their first ever appearance on the show. Um, they lost the titles to the Phil Billies in... No, they didn't even lose the titles to the Phil Billies. They lost in the Champion of Champions match. And I think they're looking for any chance to redeem themselves on that front. And it's underway. And now it's underway. I thought there was going to be another person. I wasn't prepared for the match to begin. But every time we were. And we've got Chaos in the ring again. Man, we, we love to call Chaos here. It's like a bunch of pinballs running into each other down there, Ziggy. There's just so yeah. much action going on into the ring. You got a Hard Rock uh, going, squaring off with Colt McKenna. Colt McKenna sending Hard Rock to the outside of the ropes, but Hard Rock fighting back in. You got Bruce going after Logan, the VP. Looks like yeah. you got Iceman and Stevenson squared off outside, and Nick Legacy going after OGK outside yeah. of the ring. The it only ones in the ring currently are Hogan and uh, Logan. Yeah, that's a, that's a... Yeah, yeah. Bruce and Logan. That's probably a good call. I like that. I like that. Um, I want to say right now, just point out, anything goes in this match. The only way to win, no pinfalls, no submission, you got to climb that ladder and retrieve that briefcase hanging above the, the mat. That's the only way to win. They can use anything, and I got to say, that, that kind of rule set kind of favors Hard Rock. It does. He is definitely no stranger to weapons and ev anything and everything hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Anything and everything hardcore is right. Um, Just exchanging chops with McKenna outside the ring. And, and thanks to that triple threat dual team match, we do know how much leg how much blood Legacy can lose uh, and not be pinned. Yeah. Yep. Old bag of blood hard rock. Okay. Yes, that's right. Old bag of blood hard rock. <laughs> Looks like Stevenson is looking to set the ladder up. Ooh. Ooh. Ladder Little shot to Perk. Uh, yeah, ladder shot to Perk. Iceman was down for a second. Now Justin's going to go to work on him. OGK's working on Hogan on the outside. And, and well, I just see you looking to set up the ladder. He's looking to hit somebody with it. 
he doesn't. Now he's just holding it. He just likes the feel of it in his hands. Just likes the metal, the cold metal on his palms. Oh! Legacy just no, shot blah, his blah. It's between Hard Rock and Legacy. You know, you gotta. Legacy doesn't mince words, man. He he knows, he knows where it's at. He's out there for himself. Don't anybody forget that. And he's just pacing around, stretching his arm. Iceman and Legacy are now going to square off. Misses the end Zaguri somehow. Iceman going to pick him up on his shoulders. Ooh, rolling, rolling, rolling Samoan Splash. I can do that. I can do that. I can say words. Ooh, Cole just Cole slams going down the ladder. After, uh... Legacy with the ladder, he just throws it at Iceman. I mean, really, there are too many names in this match. Just too many names to keep track of. The ladder precariously perched now under the ropes in a way that nobody can use it. Justin's going to work on Legacy in the ring while the chaos continues to ensue outside. Oh! Reverse DDT onto the ladder from Colt to Logan. Hard Rock getting uh, Colt up on his shoulders, and he's just oh, going to drop blood. his face, busting him open busting on the apron. Open. And we're going to get some blood here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Going to get some blood. For once, Hard Rock not the first man to bleed right, his own right. blood in this match. Tonight. He's making some others bleed their own blood tonight. Now OGK is setting up the ladder. Can he get up there and get that case? Because he's going to make that climb. Will the original this killer take it? it? Could be it. Nobody's there. Iceman's gonna try and stop him. OGK struggling with those clips. I think his arm is just a detriment to uh, undoing yeah. the clip yeah. for the briefcase. Ooh. Oh, now Iceman has a briefcase in his hand. Is he able to? What did we set these clips up with, Ziggy? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be hard to get it. You don't want it to just fall from the thing. You want it to be hard to get. Iceman and oh. Legacy going back. Oh. Iceman wins the confrontation and he is back on the briefcase. Hogan Bruce stalking Iceman from below. He's climbing. He's going to try and fight him off now. Iceman has been unable to be pushed down yet. Just pounding Hogan again. No, nope. Hogan, they're trading punches. Ooh. Oh, oh. Wins the confrontation. Now. Hogan hit Cole on his fall. Secure the briefcase. Oh, whoa! Hogan is hanging from the briefcase. It's gonna be hard for him to get it on clip with no footing, and he can't. And Stevenson catches him into a power bomb. That was very nice. That was good play call right there, Blaze. X plus on. X plex on to Iceman from OGK. <laughs> Now no ladder set up. No ladder set up. That that flourish is over, and now we're back to just committing acts of violence on one another. Crestfallen! No! Stopped. Hogan looking to set the ladder back up after getting Ooh. some shots in on Iceman. He's going to get the ladder set back up. He's going to climb. But look who's on uh -huh. his trail looking to knock the ladder over once again. Is Hogan going to be left oh, hanging? Oh, no, they're fighting. He's interrupted oh. by McKenna Hogan. Is Ladder still left down. hanging. Oh, uh, into electric chair drop. In. Yeah. Oof. Out of midair. I guess it's better than just slamming to the mat, I suppose, from that high up. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that, Blaze. But yeah, it was brutal. Legacy doesn't want the ladder set up. Ooh. Logan takes a crotch shot on the top. He's going to go high risk on. Oh, he catches the neck breaker on Legacy. Off the top rope, Hogan, the master of ladders tonight, is looking to set back up after putting Logan down. What a chair shot to Logan. To, I mean, a ladder. ladder shot to Logan. Ladder with up. steps. <laughs> that is a great description of ladder. That step chair there. <laughs> step chair shot. Uh... Oh, we still got chaos. That ladder's in the ring, but nobody's climbing. Colt seems just focused on fighting people. Yeah. He hasn't even attempted to climb no. the ladder yet. He knows he's got to get high with his height. 
He's bloody oh. though. He might. That Stevenson's might be factor. Stevenson's got the the. Oh. OGK, OGK going after Stevenson, who's trying to unhook the briefcase. Now Stevenson hanging. Colton OGK pushed the ladder out. OGK catches Stevenson. The electric chair drop. Stevenson's down. Iceman's gonna go to the outside. Oh! Breaking Logan wide open with a ladder shot. Yeah. That step chair shot. And then he breaks his brother open. Hard Rock. Can't have a match without Hard Rock. I knew it. Could I, have knew it could I was happen. shocked he didn't bleed in the mill. Logan going after Legacy anyway, though. Ooh, big twisting vertical suplex on the Legacy. And Logan's climbing. Oh, he's scrambled he's up there. He's, he's alone. Scampered. He's this scampered up. It. Logan could take the briefcase right here. Oh, wait. OGK. Oh, oh, OGK. Took too long. OGK fighting him off the briefcase right now. And Hogan to drag. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can't call that. It's madness. Hard Rock's going to push the ladder off from under him. Hogan's going to help. They're both up there. They're both going down. Madness. OGK and Logan drop from the ladder. Brutal. Hard Rock tosses Hogan out. Blaze headbutts my arm. It's <laughs> chaos in the arena. Chaos. Legacy is going off with that ladder, though. He is just pounding everybody. Phrasing, Ziggy. Pounding them. Pounding them hard until they fall down and don't move now anymore. Now Nick Legacy alone at the that top of the it. ladder, but Steven's in there to interrupt. He's going to try to fight uh, Legacy off the top of the ladder first. For the first time, Colt McKenna climbing. He's fighting Nick Legacy off the top. Oh, he fell into Justin! <laughs> but Hogan pushes oh. the ladder right out from Colt McKenna's Good feet. God, what's it going to take? These men have destroyed each other. Superman, Superman punch from Hogan to uh, 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 Colt McKenna. Both ladders are now out of the ring. Every, almost everybody's down, too. Like, they, they, like everybody's taking so much damage. What is Justin? Justin does a little skippity skip. Then goes to the top rope. Is, are we going to see Justin from the top rope? We, we drop kick and it. he misses. It's getting to that oh, point man. in the match where you got to get, get that ladder set yeah. up because people are getting, you know, they're hurt, they're down. Mm -hmm. it, it, the chance is coming for the climb. Yeah. Oh. Big European uppercut to Hard Rock. Hogan tosses OGK to the outside. We've still got chaos in the middle of the ring. Iceman's now got the ladder. Is he going to set this thing up? No, he's going to go after Hard Rock. He's got problems with Hard Rock. Oh, step chair shot to the face. <laughs> he's going to hit him again with it. Hard Rock is beaten down, and Iceman is not done. He is, he is really unhappy with Hard Rock. God! If Iceman can set up the ladder, this could be his chance. This could be his chance. Climb. This might be it. Hard Rock is somehow moving, though. He's somehow trying to crawl to his feet. But nobody is there to stop Iceman. Iceman, Iceman has it. Again. Oh, Hard Rock looking to push the ladder out from under Iceman. Can he push it? He's beaten. He's bloody. And he can't seem to get it out from under him. He's, like, pissed at the ladder right now. It's, it's too heavy. Can't, somebody stop Iceman! Somebody's bleeding! Nick, Nick Legacy just got busted open. I, I think Iceman Ice Man just pulled it. Pulls the, they failed. Uh, Colt McKenna was too busy fighting instead of going mm -hmm. up the ladder mm -hmm. after Iceman. Iceman now has his ch chance to well. go after... Uh, um, I mean, let's else. not mince hairs. He's going to go after that OMGW title. Like, oh, that's what he wants. That's always his goal. That He's a one-track mind all the way, so he's going to go after that title. What a brutal match to open the show today, Blaze. That is right, Ziggy. Oh, but we're going to go backstage uh, to hear from Alex, who is not happy about his immortality situation. That's right. Last year at Immortality, I proved the method to the world when I climbed the mountain that is Kaiser. I not only beat him, but I proved the worth of the method to him in that very moment, so well that he had no choice but to join me. All that said, for some reason, the world at large, the OMGW fans decided it was all a ploy, that I orchestrated some sort of scam. I would never lie, I have no reason to. That's why this year, I'm going to do it all again, at Immortality the Second, 
I'm issuing my open method challenge to anyone who thinks they can beat. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm trying to make an announcement. Oh. Oh, me? Sorry, man. I was uh, just trying to pass through, but uh, I'm glad I wore my boots because it's been really hard to uh, trudge through this deep shit you've been shoveling. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, all these people see shit <laughs> clearly. Your method didn't win you that match last year. And your method ain't gonna win you no match this year. Well, just too bad you have the dual team title and are previously engaged, or I would love nothing more than to prove you wrong. Yeah, it's just too damn bad. Alex Davis, uh, we have heard that you're very unhappy in which you cannot be at immortality unless you have some sort of team partner. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous that I, Alex Davis, the true genius, needs any sort of partner to be at immortality. I will remind everybody how good I am, how great I am, and the fact that I have to find some sucker to stand next to me is absolutely ridiculous. Well... I don't have anything going on at Immortality, so. All right. All right, Colt. Well, why don't you stay out of my way and just maybe you'll learn something. Stay out of my way. Maybe you could learn something from me. All right. Interesting stuff happening backstage as the road to Immortality the Second heats up. Some weird words exchanged between Logan and Doc, but Logan has issued... The, the method challenge again. Yeah, I don't know if uh, he, he's standing by the fact that he truly beat the Kaiser in that match. I, I don't know how I feel about it. That match was absurdly short. Um, and we, all, we also found that it seems Colt McKenna is going to be teaming up with Alex Davis. Right. I mean... The styles make sense, yeah, but the but but the bravado involved does not. You know, um, they are two very intense fellows who have uh, very interesting ways of looking at things. You got to wonder. I mean, there have been great teams in wrestling's history that have been made out of rivals: Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, The Rock and Sock Connection. I could go on. Uh, this could be one of them, but only time will tell. I will say, they've been fighting each other most of the year. So this could be really interesting for both of them. Now what we have going on right now is a ground zero match. It's a four on four elimination tag match between the ladies. Uh, the, we gave we gave the contender and the champion captainship and they got to pick their teams. Yeah, just an old style schoolyard pick here, Ziggy. Yeah, yeah. And, and um Right now we ha we see Ellie Shanks in the ring already and Bodica entering. I do believe this is Team Jenny. I am not 100% sure. We'll have to wait until everybody's entered to see. But yeah, uh, so what's going to happen here is they are tags as normal. You can tag anybody on your side if you're pinned or submitted. You're eliminated from the match. Last team standing wins. And from what I've heard, this match can have title implications. So should somebody pin and take out Jenny, should somebody pin and take out Harcourt, uh, they might get a shot at the title. Who knows? Nothing's confirmed. crowd can't contain themselves here, Ziggy. They really can. They are up they and really down. Can. They don't know whether to sit, stand, or other. Kate Sampson entering the top of the ramp. She is going to be heading down into tonight's match as well. Uh, you know, I do find that this is a good time to announce something for next year. This is a little bit far off, but uh, this is the best time. Uh, we have just been handed some information there will be some new titles landing next year, Season 3. Between Season 3 and th Season 2, we will have what's called the Bonus Round, a special that we put on probably a few months after Season 2 airs. And we're going to decide who 
the double ultra division champions will be, and it will be a dual team division type thing for the ladies. That is right. All right, that and, is and right. You heard it from Blaine's. It's it, right, period. We'll be adding another belt to the wonderful women's division that we have established yeah. here yeah. at OMG. Well, and you, you know, with the ODI coming, we're probably going to increase the ladies' ranks as well. Uh, we've gotten nothing but positive feedback on the women's division. so Oh, it, it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with any uh, male contest yeah. we have yeah. in this league. These women put just as much on the line as any man does in OMG wrestling. Yeah, without a doubt. So that's an exciting, exciting news for the Ultra Division, uh, for their new division part of them. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be it's gonna make season three real interesting. And that bonus round, can't wait to watch it. Yeah, Nikki Hardcourt, the ch current champion, is entering the ring here tonight. Uh, I'm still unsure of who the partners are. Uh, I, don't I think have this is actually Team Harcourt. I think it's Bodica. Uh, it's Team Nikki, uh, Kate Sampson, Allie, and Bodica are all on a team. Uh, and then uh, Team Jenny will will consist of Amy Scott, two M. They're on the same team, and Ashley. That's that's going to make for some strange bedfellows, if you ask me. Yeah, that is for sure. This is definitely going to be an intense match. I mean, everyone in the women's division is just a threat for sure. Uh, so who knows what's yeah. going to come out of this. Yeah. It seems like you have, in a way, it fell to age and experience versus um, just devastating power and uh, technique. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It should be very interesting to see how this works and how it goes down. Um yeah, and then later tonight we got that champion of champions match to find out who the champion of champions is. Also announced next week on the final mat, the final episode before the summit, Allie and Amy will get to settle their score. They're going to go one on one next week. That'll be a fun match to witness for sure. Both those women um, have something to prove, and it'll actually be one of the first times to my memory that we'll get to see Allie in a true one-on-one -on -one, uh, I, th I think so, too. I, I think so. I, I cannot remember back to, to, to as to whether she's had that straight one-on-one -on -one competition yet, but, yeah, it should be interesting. It should be a telling experience. And Amy Scout's no slouch, so it'll be a, oh, no. a big uh, – it would be a – Big feather in her cap to win that match. Ashley Presley entering the ring right now. Uh, so we have... We're still waiting on Molly Martin to come out of the back. And, uh... And yet, and Jenny, I think. Yeah, Triple J. And then that's it. And then we can finally get this match going. Molly Martin stepping up, coming down the ramp right now. 2M. She has definitely had a positive showing so far yeah. this year. Yeah. No belts uh, around her waist yet, but she has definitely proven herself here in the uh, uh, women's ultra division. Yeah, she's definitely helped to police the ultra division a little bit too uh, with protecting even one of her most hated rivals, Amy Scott, at the hands of Allie. It's almost like she is the mother of this division. Yeah, yeah, like almost the matriarch of it. I would, I would, I would agree with that. Uh, she is, of course, we know having some problems with Hard Rock at this particular juncture. Yeah, but I think she's professional. She will set those problems aside and focus at the match at hand. I, I agree with that. I completely agree with that. It's still interesting that all of those questions continue to circle around the. the I don't know. I feel like there's storm clouds over the OMGW. There, there is for sure, and I'm left on the edge of my seat waiting to find out when that lightning will strike. Yeah, yeah, it, it should be interesting. 
It def we definitely have a lot more questions than answers right now. We're going to have to see if we get them in the next couple of weeks or at Immortality. Yep. And we have our final wrestler for this uh, match entering the ring with Triple J. She steps forward and she's looking to uh, earn back her title. As we know, she will have her, her uh, reconciliation chance in a uh, rematch with Nikki Hardcourt for the title um, this year. Yeah, yeah, and that's going to be interesting. This just goes to build that rivalry a little bit more. I think both of them are going to be looking to get that win, to get that momentum going forward into immortality. So we're going to have to see. Uh, we're going to have to see which one of them comes out on top. But I think that's it. I think we're just about ready to begin this Ground Zero match. See yeah, who we're going to get this underway and see who comes out with the victory tonight. It looks like we're starting off with Amy Scott and Ali Shanks. No surprise there. No surprise there. No love lost between these two either. Allie's going to go for the quick tag, though. Get Kate in. Just a Ooh. double uh, jackknife to the back. Yeah, yeah. Like almost like backstabber a, a backstabber. Yeah, almost like a double backstabber. Kate's got her locked in. Went for the German, but Amy flips through it. Catches Kate. Ooh, sending her over the top rope with it. Just a huge forearm lariat. Yeah, huge forearm lariat. Big kick to the face on Kate as that count begins. Ooh, Kate with the reversal. Both of these women are very ferocious, very focused wrestlers. She's, she's walking her farther away, and she's going to go to the... No? She was looking to put her face off those steel steps, but Amy Scott had the wherewithal to fight out of that. Oh, and turn them. Uh, she just got, they just got counted out. They both got counted out. There was a double count out. Wow. I didn't realize I didn't we were that high. The count was that high. I wow. thought they had a few seconds to get back in the ring. Oh, and Nikki and Ashley jump in right off the bat. And Nikki goes right to work on the nine to five. We're three to three at this point. Yeah, just like that, the, the score has been uh, dwindled. Jenny's gonna break that pin up though. That was that was quick. I did not realize the count was that high. Allie and Jenny are now fighting in the ring. Not Ron even the legal wrestlers at this point. Massive clothesline to Ashley. He's gonna get the pin. And that's wow. it. After a nine to five. Nikki hits Ashley with just a decapitation headlock. Speaking of momentum, that is definitely going to help Nikki moving or, Yeah, Nikki moving forward. Yeah, it definitely is. And now we're 3 to 2 at this point. We got some fighting going on on the outside. Are we going to get another double count out here, guys? Molly off the ropes. I mean off the apron. Let's get him back in the ring. Let's get him back in the ring. Four count. Nikki's still the eligible wrestler right now. Molly Martin in the ring as well. She is down. Nikki's going to whip Molly into the ropes. She's looking to tag in Bodica right now, looking for a double team. They just whip her into the rope, into a big double team. Double elbow. Bodica against Molly Martin right now. Spear the she God. Spear the God. Oh! She drops her signature on Molly Martin, and she goes for the cover. This could be it. Allie shanks into play. Not able to stop Triple J from getting that break. Up. Yeah, Jenny's going to stop that one. Bodica now stalking 2M again. Goes for some, but Molly's going to reverse. Molly now fighting back. Ooh, butterfly German suplex. Oh, big elbow. A knee. Big knee, yeah. Ferocious different joint. Knee. Different joint. Calling the wrong joint. Molly puts Bodica into the corner so hard she bounces out. But Bodica hits the elbow out of desperation. Puts Molly back into the corner. Molly's going to reverse again. Bodica's going to reverse again with an elbow. 
Molly up and oh. down. Wow. Wow. She's still spry in her older age. <laughs> yeah, she is spry as anybody comes. Now she's trying to figure out how to tag and can't. It's often a problem here at MGW. Molly's gonna pick her up. Oh! Bodica with a deep arm drag to reverse. Big knee shot from Bodica. Molly's down. Bodica going for the tag, getting Nikki Hardcore back in. Nikki's gonna stand off against Triple J who Here comes in. Here we go. Preview of our title match. Triple J got the hot tag, and now she's in charge right now. Harcourt's going to put an end to it, though, with a big Huge back breaker. backbreaker. Yeah. It's going to turn the tide. It was looking like Triple J had that locked down. Now she's focusing on the knees of Triple J. Oh, huge clothesline. Just taking her head right off. Jenny's out. He got the count right before he went down. The momentum Ooh. remains in favor of Nikki Hardcourt. That's a big blow That's a big to blow. Jenny Jameson. She just got pinned by the champion. And now Molly's alone against three. Oh, oh huge, nice splash off the second rope. Yeah, just crossbody to Molly Martin. She's down. Bodica's taking shots at her. Oh, Molly's going to try and fight out. Can she fight this alone? I don't think she can. Huge big boot. And she's going for the cover. But the ref is down and has been. And Nikki is able to kick out as well. Is Nikki trying to single-handedly pin everybody again right. on the opposing team? Right. You got to wonder. You got to wonder. I mean, Molly literally has to single-handedly pin everybody. What is happening here? Nikki trying to size up what she should do next. She thought about going for the tag, yeah, but it was did. like she figured, ah, I'm still pretty fresh. I think I'll just beat her up. I think I'll just win it. Now she's just looking at her. Don't know what she's doing right now. Taking a breath. Really thinking about it. Really thinking about what she wants to do. Just considering all her options. I, I mean, there's many of them, Ziggy. Mm -hmm. if, if, if she wants to go down the list. I mean, even simple ones like move your hands or feet. Yes. <laughs> Finally, she goes for something, but Molly gets up and puts her in the leg drag. Oh, thank you with that, that falcon arrow. And now Nikki is stalking Molly. This might be the end. This might be the end for Molly. You gotta give her pipes for fighting this long, but we're gonna see nine to five. That's one. That's two. The triple power bomb connects. That's leaving gotta be Molly it. broken on the ground. It. Nikki covering. And that's wow. it. Champion with a strong performance. Wow, there. Nikki Hardcourt literally just eliminated. Other than the countout, she eliminated all three competitors. Uh, of the opposing team that, talking right. about momentum going into uh, going forward you know towards her title match where she puts her belt on the line momentum is definitely in her court yeah that's right it is 100 percent in her court right now uh but we're still gonna hear from 3j we have a pre-taped interview from melissa to her and uh, we're gonna go backstage right now and hear that Jenny, you have earned the right to a rematch with Nikki Harcourt for the division, Ultra Division title. How are you preparing for your match? Oh, I'm preparing in the way every wrestler prepares, by training. Maybe this question is better suited for the momzilla, Harcourt. In fact, let me ask the question straight to her. How are you training, Nikki? Are you balancing it with your home life? Or do you even think twice about them when you walk out of the house? That's my bet. 
I see your physique, and I know you can't get that without spending a lot of time in the gym, a lot of time away from them. I don't blame you. I even understand the need to get away from the open mouths, the whining, the neediness. You're always saying you do this for your family. But I think the reality is you do this to get away from your family. Wow, Ziggy, it looks like uh, Triple J is trying to play some mind games yeah. on Nikki Hardcore. I mean, she knows that uh, Nikki could definitely back it up in the ring, so maybe she can get in her head. But right now, <laughs> you see who it is. It yeah. is one really? half of the Philbillies, Doc Holliday, stepping into the ring with that belt around his waist. And you know he has no intentions of forfeiting that belt tonight, Ziggy. No, he does not have any intentions of forfeiting that belt. I will go ahead and point out that I don't think anybody stepping into the ring has intentions of forfeiting their belts. I don't think anyone goes into the Champion of Champions match thinking, I don't need this anymore. No, but if Doc Holliday were, I mean, I could see him being able to have that attitude because he knows he can win it back at any moment. You know, any time he wants, he's that type of wrestler, Ziggy. But I'm just saying, he is looking to hold on to this belt, and he knows that with uh, Filthy Phil as a uh, partner, the sky's the limit. Well, I, I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. I don't know that I'm going to agree, but I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. Good decision, Ziggy. <laughs> uh, so now his partner's headed out, uh, Filthy Phil. And i got to ask you, uh, do you think he's worried at all about Filthy Phil in this match? Filthy Phil has proven to be... Oh, he's a wild card for sure. Yeah, he's... No I don't one know ever... if I'd use the word wild card. I think I'd say unstable. Yeah, no one. one ever knows what's going on in Filthy Phil's mind. I don't even think Filthy Phil knows what's going no, on in Filthy Phil's mind. not. Uh, he's still stuck in Mexico, you know, with midgets and, and, and animals and of otters, all varieties. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he's, he's kind of a lunatic, so we're going to have to I mean, you said it best when you said you just got to strap a saddle on and hold the reins. Yeah, that's right. all you can do. Just ride it to the finish and hope that, uh, hope that all goes well because Filthy Phil is just dirty and just crazy, frankly. Well, and, and this could be a problem in this match because... While they are a team and they have that title, only one person can win. That is true. But if one of them gets pinned or submitted, those titles go away. So this should be very, very interesting right here. Filthy Phil still taunting the crowd. Does not know when to stop. Never does, Ziggy. <laughs> Never will. Next up, we're going to see SGB, the North American champion, heading to the ring. I promise. There he is, sporting his flannel as usual. The, uh, the VIP's number one guy, as he likes to say. Logan's number one guy, and possibly the North, and obviously the North American division's number one guy. Uh, he had a, he's had an incredible year. Really, when you think about it. Oh yeah, he has in his own right. He has come, he's come to. He had a rough start last year in season one, but he has proved himself to belong. Yeah, he he definitely belongs with that title too, and uh, that is the thing. I mean, really, when you look at it, this is the last test to get to immortality with that title. If you want to be in that title picture uh, with the title. You don't lose your title here. You're guaranteed. You're guaranteed in the title picture at Immortality. And finally, you know him. You hate him. The Marauder. Marcus the Marauder heading down the OMGW champion after his win over Tony the Magnum Sinclair. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, the train hit the mountain there for a second. Yeah, he did. He did, and that was a heck of a match. It was too. a great match. It, it was really anyone's match, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, but he he pulled it out, uh, and he is just one of those guys that uh, you never expect him to win, but he always finds a way. Oh yeah, by any means necessary, mm -hmm. the Marauder. <coughs> Excuse me. Will uh, 
will do anything he can to pull it out. <laughs> we got the we got the hay fever in here. Yeah. It's very dusty in here. There's a lot of dust. A man who says death is always behind him he has an opportunity to be champion of champions. So who do you think's gonna get this right here, Blaze? Who's gonna take this 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 four way? Should I ask? Do you have to, Ziggy? I'm impartial as they come, but you cannot put it past uh, Doc Holliday to uh, step up in this match and really just put it away. Well, I don't want to start a giant argument with you, but Doc Holliday does not have the best track record in multi-person matches. No, he doesn't. But today's a new day, Ziggy. Today is a new day. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Right now, it looks like the Phil Billies, however, are working together. Uh, Filthy Phil and Marauder have squared off. They have history from last year, while SGB and Doc are taking it in the ring to each other. Oh! You spoke too soon as Doc oh, too talks, soon. tosses SGB outside. I feel like every time I say a thing, it just does the opposite. They just do the opposite. Can they hear me? Whoa! SGB with some... Nice Quick. DDT reversal to Doc Holliday. Now Doc Holliday is down while Marauder starts to take the, 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 the advantage in his battle with Filthy. Just want to remind you, for year one, the entire first half, it was dominated by a rivalry between Filthy Phil and the Marauder. Filthy Phil even having a shot at Marauder's North American Championship back then. SGB just stomping Doc Holliday in the ring. And Doc Holliday up into the backbreaker on SGB. Again, just like every Fatal 4-Way, the only way you can win is in the ring. So right now, Filthy Phil and Marauder's battle is not doing them any favors. And of course... <laughs> As I talk about it, they got in the ring. Doc countering SGB to get back in. And now, now it's a triple threat as Filthy Phil is on the outside trying to recover. And these guys can't figure out who's gonna attack who. They just keep they just keep interrupting each other. Just it's like three men trading punches if you can if you can imagine that in your head. Yeah, no one letting get one get the advantage over the other. Filthy Phil going to the top. Oh! A low blow from Marauder. The bargain vasectomy putting Doc Holliday on the map. Is that it? Is that going to be it? Marauder's going for the pin. Two count, but SGB breaks it up. <clears throat> Marauder makes SGB pay for it. Filthy then decides to pick up the pieces. And just hangs up SGB on the rope. Whoa! Kick out of nowhere from Marauder. That's why Marauder's so dangerous in these kind of situations. He loves he loves to take people from behind. He loves to he loves to sneak up on them when they're not looking and just just drive it into them. That is right. SGB got filthy fill in the corner. Doc's on the outside trying to recover. SGB is in charge right now. North American champion has a great showing so far. Proving why he should be here and why he should be in the title picture. Oh, Russian leg sweep to Marauder. Doc going after Marauder. I will say I'm impressed. The Philbillies have not attacked each other at all. Well, no. They're a professional uh, <laughs> team, Ziggy. And even though Filthy Phil is unstable, I think even he knows the implications that could be had if yeah. he were to turn on Doc. Howard. I think you're right. I think you're totally right. Whoa! Marauder tried to go for the sidekick, but SGB had it scouted. He's going to put him into a Texas Cloverleaf. Whoa, he's got the submission locked in. Can Doc break it up? He's just smacking him, but SGB doesn't want to let go. He does. Filthy Phil, what are you doing? Whoa! Into the mud hole. St the mud hole stop drop. What is he doing, Ziggy? Oh, no. The this mud stop drop. What? Mud oh. stop drop. Filthy Phil, you He's have made. To get the a, pin. Are you kidding me? You have made a huge error in your ways, Filthy. I mean, if he had gotten it, he would have. He would have looked like a genius. We would have had to figure out what to do with those dual belts. 
Now Doc, now Doc, SGB's moved on to Doc, who has now taken two people's big moves. Meanwhile, Marauder takes Filthy Phil out. And goes after SGB. He seems to be in charge now. Big reverse neck breaker. Doc's down in the ring, very stunned, hurt. Hurt, hurt both mentally and physically. What? What? Emotionally, happened? emotionally. He's in a glass case, you could say. He still kicks out, though. He still well, kicks of out. Of course, was there any doubt, Ziggy? <laughs> there was a little doubt. No. Doc <laughs> has life. Huge neck breaker to, uh, neck breaker lariat to Filthy, but Filthy's going to get up in reverse. Now Filthy and Marauder are going back, to for back and forth. Filthy's got Marauder up on his shoulders. Torture rack backbreaker. Yeah, I said all that perfectly. No, filthy, filthy, filthy what no. are you doing? He's seeing red. He's seeing red. He's going after Doc. He hit Doc again. That one looked like an accident. That one looked like he was trying to stop the pin. But Doc's out. Doc's confused and hurt, and he's on the outside trying to recover. And 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 I mean. I mean, just think of the... Doc knows that this is a wrong move. He hasn't tried to attack Filthy Phil back at all. Not once. Not once. He doesn't know what's happening. Filthy Phil is going insane. It, it's as you said, he sees red and he's not seeing the big picture right. and what, what his choices could lead to. Right. He's just not thinking. He's just not thinking. He's doing his own thing and it, it could cost them. Filthy's now on the outside. Doc's trying to recover. Trying to make a fight of this. Trying to make a show of this. Big European Marauder. Pops it up, Marauder. Marauder. Ooh, Ooh. He's able to turn. Oh! Huge Superman punch to Marauder. Go he's for going for the cover. SGB's but he's in the ropes. Yep. And yeah, SUB able to... They both were right. We're both right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SUB stalking somebody. Misses the kick, though. Just whiffs. Slingshot drop. Filthy's back up to his feet. He's in the ring. He's going after SGB. Marauder taking advantage of Doc Holiday. <laughs> yes, he is. Phrasing. Fra phrasing. Oh. Tries to go for German, but Doc counters. Marauder and Doc have an... Oh! It's a seat cutter. Marauder is busted open by Doc. Doc going for the That's cover gonna be right it. here. That's going to be it. No, let it happen. Filthy, Filthy Phil, it what up. are you doing? Filthy breaks it up. Doc, I don't know. Doc was leaping around in anger. <laughs> Filthy Phil is now all over Doc Holiday. He's seen red. He chucks Doc Holiday to the outside. Filthy Phil, don't do it. What are you doing? And he pulls him back in to attack him more. And Doc's had enough. Yeah. Hangman's noose. Hangman's noose. SGB breaks it up. Doc has finally had to throw his team mentality out the window. But is it too late? It Filthy might be. Phil? Backbreaker suplex from SGB to Doc sends him to the outside. Even that half second in Hangman's noose has put Filthy Phil down. SGB might have it here. He's pinning. That's a two. Oh! Marauder barely kicks out. He just took a cutter from Doc. And he's bleeding. He's bleeding from the face. From the face and face. I don't want to face twice. SGB taking Marauder into the corner. Nope, Marauder's going to reverse into the corner. No! Ooh, SGB gets the knees up. Drop Huge kick. drop kick wow. to the face of Marauder. SGB's feeling it right now. Can he get the win? Huge forearm to Marauder. Marauder stumbles. And Doc's had enough of Filthy Phil. As he should, he needs to put those reins back on and put Filthy Phil down so he doesn't... Whoa. He's going for... Superman, no, STB is like, I don't think so. I'm gonna take this moment to do some damage. Whoa, putting his, oh, right to the arm. And Filthy Phil's just letting it happen. Well, what is Filthy Phil's going after SGB. This could be it for the Phil Billies at this oh. point. Oh my God, Filthy. Phil is just going doing? crazy. What is he doing? He's putting him up to the top. All friend mentality Looking out. Looking in for a superplex there on his be. partner. There can only be one champion of champions. Filthy Phil knows that. And unfortunately, that's what he's going with. If he pins, though, what do we do with the dual team titles? If he manages to beat Doc. No. Camel Clutch. Camel Clutch. Everybody smacks him. 
Filthy Phil must not know Doc's history. You do not want Doc Holiday in singles division wrestling. Oh, RPK off the ropes, and Filthy's busted open. Marauder with the hold, but SGP breaks it up, going after Marauder. The Philbillies are down. Go for the RPK on Marauder. He hits it. That's going to be it. SGP is going to win it. Whoa. Marauder looked broken there in a weird way. But SGB is beat. He doesn't have the energy to pin. Now he's got it. Can Filthy get there to stop it? He does. Holy crap. Doc Holliday, can he get? Can he sneak to the pin? Oh, on? he's going to try to sneak it on Marauder. That's going to be it. Oh. Filthy Phil, what <laughs> are you doing? Filthy Phil takes the ref out and Marauder, and now it's the Philbillies. They stand alone in the ring, and they are brawling. It has, it has fallen apart for the Dream Team. I don't think there's any team left here, Ziggy. Must Filthy stop with drop. the second mod hold. Oh! Marauder not, breaks oh, it up in a huge super, super kick. kick into Filthy Phil. That might be Both it. Both the Philbillies are down. Marauder drops, drags Filthy Phil. Oh, he's covering. Over. He's going for the cover. Doc Holliday is down. This could be it. Champion of champions is Marauder. Filthy it, Phil, you idiot. <laughs> Phillies have lost the titles. It will be vacated. What an insane, insane turn of events. Right now, my co-host is just stunned, speechless by the actions you of know, Ziggy, Phil. You know, Ziggy, that's what happens when you backstab Doc Holliday. You pay the ultimate price. You get pinned, and you screwed yourself over. That was an easy match for the Phillies to win, and Filthy Phil just... This is, is going to be a hard conversation in the back room. It is. And now Doc Holliday. Oh, Marauder, Marauder wins. He's was perfect the timing of champions. The opportunity was there, and he took it. He is an opportunist at core. Oh, man. And what good for Marauder, but filthy. You've made a huge error. Doc Holliday was an upholding singles champion in his past, and now it, the... The floor is open for Doc next season to um, go after a singles title um, if he chooses. You're right. I'm sorry to cut you off there, but I'm getting word that Totalik is going to make the announcement as to who Kaiser is challenging at Immortality. Salutations. I would like to thank you members of the OMGW committee for the time to speak on behalf of my clients, the Highbloods. Considering your generous offer of a guaranteed title shot at immortality, we wish to expedite making our machinations absolutely clear. The Highbloods will challenge for the dual team champions at Immortality the Second, and my clients look forward to decimating whomever arrives that night. Gentlemen, there will be no quarter given. You've been writing checks your mouth can't cash. You've been talking and walking a lot of shit back. You've been looking to validate all of your mistakes. But this is one step beyond what I can take. Ain't never been scared, it's all the same to me Ain't scared, ain't never been scared, it's not hard to see Ain't scared, ain't never been scared, it's all the same to me Ain't scared, ain't never been scared, it's not hard to see 